first we're going to take your string and we're going to go above this bearing and we're going to weave it through all of the different parts. So it's going to go above this first one and below the second one and back up. Down. Go back up one more time. And so for here, we're going to tie it off to this bolt here. So for now, I'm going to loop it underneath and leave some extra. A few inches should be plenty. And so this is going to connect down to the spool. So from the spool, I will also leave a few extra inches. With the ends of cut string, generally we like to suggest uh, heating it up to make sure that the end it doesn't have any extra little pieces of small string that'll make it hard to tie off or fit through anything. So we usually just use like a little lighter. So I'm gonna wrap it around the inside portion of our spool. We're gonna do a pretty simple knot. We're gonna tie it once, or no, pull that pretty tight. We're gonna create one more knot on that. And we'll pull that tight. So now on this side, we're gonna pull our excess cable. So we wanna make sure this is all the way down. And we're gonna wrap it back over the top edge of the bolt and create the same knot as we did on the spool. And I like to do double knots on these just to make sure that they don't come off. So now if we twist our spool, it's gonna remove all the slack in the line. And if we have a little bit of extra cable here, we can cut this shorter again. prefer to do is we're gonna loosen a few things up first. The down, here we're gonna loosen the M3 bolt that holds this idler in place. Just to make it a little bit looser, we'll make it easier to feed our string through. We're gonna take our cable beneath our first idler. And that should fit underneath our second idler. And so this idler is going to keep the string from ever coming off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten it back up. That bearing will fully retain the string, so it shouldn't ever come off. We're going to pull the string all the way up to about the top. Give ourselves a few extra inches to play with later. So on this side, we're going to go a few inches past the spool. Our string again. On this side, we're just gonna go around one of the standoffs in the spool, just like before. We're gonna tie a simple knot. I like to double knot everything. We're gonna remove our spring from our assembly. Now that our spring's off, we'll feed it through the hole. And I like to try to line it up with the one below the one we want to use and make sure it's mostly taut. So that'll get, let me know that when I put this in the next one, which is the one I want it to be in, it's going to have the right tension. So here we're just going to tie our simple knot again. Quick check before we fasten everything back together. So now we can re tension this nut. And that's how you string up your linear lift system.